Welcome back to the How to Use My Dip Kit video series. In this video we're going to be looking at how to prepare your film for the container and why. What happens if you just decide to wing it? And how to use a large container to dip a small item. Here's what will happen when you totally wing it. You place the film in the water without a border and it curls up immediately. The more common scenario, you place the film in the water, wait 60 seconds, spray with activator, and the film dissolves and the pattern is ruined. So maybe now's a good time to pull out those directions that came with the kit and give them a quick look-see. Okay, it says here I need to tape the borders of the film and cut slits all the way into the film in the corners and on the sides. Without the right size dipping container though, unfortunately you'll have the same results. The pattern will continue to expand to the edges of the container. As the instructions clearly state, you want to have only about one inch between the edge of the bordered film and the container. The film does need to expand, but only about an inch on each side. Now, finding the right size dipping container is the first thing mentioned in the instructions. But here's a tip on how you can use just one large container to dip all of your items. It's easy to contain the film by using a border with tape. You can go about this two ways. You can either physically measure out an extra inch on each side of your taped film, or you can cut a piece of paper to the size of the taped film and lay it in the water and use this as a benchmark as you create your frame of tape. So now that we've done everything the instructions have asked us to do, let's see how this plays out. After spraying with activator, the film will turn into liquid ink and expand as it's supposed to. Yet the pattern isn't hopelessly distorted. It's only going to move to the edge of the border. So after 20 seconds after spraying the activator, everything is contained, the pattern looks great, and you're ready to dip. In summary, tape a border around the film, cut slits in the corners and the sides, and if you have more than a one inch border around your film and the container, you can create an artificial border using tape. So, go to mydipkit.com, check out their over 100 patterns you can use to camo out your products, and join the Facebook community. See what thousands of people have been doing using MyDipkit. Thanks for watching.